Welcome to Tuesday Studio Seeds, where we plant the seeds for success in music education. I'm Tiziana, and in today's final episode of this series, we're diving into a transformative topic, connecting with your ideal client, your perfect student. Before we start today, I have some exciting news. After this episode, I will be hosting a new free masterclass called Be Like Bach that you won't want to miss. In this special session, I'll help participants understand how to build their brand with authenticity through social media, without the needs for ads, in a very creative and strategic way, in a way that has never been seen before in music education. This is a fantastic opportunity to learn how to connect with your ideal clients and elevate your teaching practice. So if you wish to sign up for free, go to the description of this episode on YouTube and find the, li the link to subscribe or simply comment Bach and I will send you the link. Okay, ready to start? So why is it important to connect with the right students? As music teachers, we often have a passion for sharing our love of music. But if we're not connecting with the right students or clients, we may struggle to find fulfillment or financial stability. Let's break this down into three key areas. First, identifying your ideal client. Second, focusing on clients who truly value your work. And third, how this focus leads to financial stability. To start with, let's remember that when it comes to teaching young children, it's essential to remember that the ideal client isn't the child themselves. Instead, it often includes the families or caregivers, the parents, guardians, or nannies who are making the, the financial commitment. It's crucial for us as music teachers to establish a genuine connection with these key decision makers. We need to understand their interests and goals, which might include the child's developmental milestones, musical aspirations, or even the family's values regarding education. This means that our communication should reflect their priorities and concerns even if it feels like we are repeating the same points over and over again. Each conversation is an opportunity to reinforce our commitment to the child's musical growth and to show how we can help achieve their specific objectives. By consistently addressing their needs, we not only build trust, but also create a supportive environment where families feel heard and valued. So now, think about who you genuinely enjoy working with. Is it a parent who are eager to support their child's musical journey? Or perhaps guardians who appreciate the value of music education? By defining your ideal client this way, you can tailor your communication and marketing strategies to reach those who will invest in your teaching. Here's a quick tip create and write down a profile of your ideal client. List their age, interest, musical goals for their children in case they, they are the students, their preferred learning styles and their values. This exercise will help clarify who you're aiming to reach in your marketing and lesson planning. Next, let's discuss the importance of focusing on clients who value your work. Not every student or the family will see the value in your teaching style, your expertise, or the unique approach you want to bring to music education. And that's okay. It's essential to seek out those who resonate with your philosophy and methods. When you connect with families who genuinely appreciate what you offer, the experience becomes rewarding for both parties. You'll find that these clients are more motivated, engaged, 
and likely to stay with you for long term. This not only enhances your teaching experience. I remember when I first started teaching, I was eager to accept every student that came my way. And that was actually a great way to expand my experience and understand my audience better. However, I soon realized that working with families who were not committed or didn't appreciate my teaching style was draining and definitely not what I wanted to do with my life. When I focused on finding families who valued my approach, my teaching became more enjoyable. My students thrived and my community grew. So if you are just starting out, it can be beneficial to accept a wide range of students because it helps you learn what works for you and what doesn't. This phase is all about exploration and growth. But if you're more experienced now, it's time to decide who you want to work with and set your boundaries. This includes how you organize your courses for other organizations like nursery or schools as well. Only when you're able to convey your message effectively and showcase the best of yourself will your audience truly see the value of your work. This clarity not only attracts the right clients, but also encourages them to speak about your teaching with others, creating a ripple effect of referrals and connections. Now, let's tie these all together by discussing how defining your ideal client leads to financial stability. When you identify your target audience and focus on those who truly value your work, you'll find that your teaching becomes more sustainable. As I just mentioned, happy and engaged clients are more likely to refer you to others, helping you build a robust st student base. Moreover, when you understand your client, your ideal client, you can set your pricing and offerings to reflect the value you provide. For example, if you're teaching young children, you might emphasize the developmental benefits of music education. This approach appeals directly to the families making the investment by describing your inner motivation for your work, your passion for child's development, and your genuine interest in supporting children's musical growth. Parents are always looking for ways to enhance their child's development, and showcasing how your lessons contribute to that can be a powerful motivator. On the other hand, if you're teaching adults, it's essential to communicate that your classes may not be the cheapest option available. You can highlight the depth of your experience and the professional development you've pursued. For example, sharing stories about the last courses you attended to enhance your teaching skills not only builds credibility, but also justifies your pricing. When potential clients see the investment you've made in your own education and the unique perspective you bring to your lessons, they're more likely to recognize the value in what you offer. So by aligning your pricing with the specific needs and value, values of your ideal clients, you ensure financial stability while creating a more rewarding teaching experience for both you and your students. Thank you for joining me on today's episode of Tuesday Studio Seeds. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the masterclass Be Like Bach and share it with fellow music educators. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the topic discussed today. So feel free to reach out on social media or in the comment of this episode. See you soon.